one is a wild girl. When she's not volunteering with her therapy dogs at Boston area nursing homes, 65-year-old grandmother Mitch Callahan does it with Dennis, her husband of 15 years. It's about flirting, and in my case, flirting with my husband. Divorce computer tech Bob Weissman does it too, back in the dating game in the digital age. It's just made it really interesting and fun. They're talking about sexting, exchanging sexually tinged texts or instant messages with other willing correspondents. I'm naked and need to get dressed. We may have to find a motel. And photos too. Remember that bench in that secluded garden last summer where we, well, Bob remembered. And, you know, the one thing led to another and led to another and led to another and... Sexting started with the younger set a few years ago and it's been controversial. Just recently, deposed Miss California Carrie Prejean said she was only sexting when she made the youthful mistake of posting photos and a so-called sex tape to an ex-boyfriend. But the AARP crowd is more careful. I, I would never send a face picture. And you can send a picture to someone who could send it to a hundred other people. Concentrating instead on the object of the exercise, recapturing the delicious anticipation of sex. I don't want that missing from my life. So this is a way to add a little bit more excitement. More and more therapists and relationship coaches are telling their older clients to give it a try. It's connecting to that spicy, juicy courtship. You know, that those red stiletto heels, those late nights of passion. It all sounds good to New Yorker Ruth Rosner, who at age 93 still, as she puts it, has her engine running. Sexting? Why not? This is a new possibility right. for me. I have been saying, what am I going to do while I hibernate this winter? Where am I going to find my excitement? Are there risks, even for careful seniors? Sure, and to avoid embarrassment or worse, before you hit the send button, it would help to know enough about the person on the receiving end, just as in any evolving relationship. The rules that apply in real life should be applied towards the sex thing as well. Bob buys into that. Most of the people that I end up, you know, uh, sexting with have been people that I've been texting with for a long time. A new media bonus that folks of a certain age are just discovering is available. For today, Mike Taibbi, NBC News, New York.